Now I'm facing you again. Hello, people. Never did I think it'd look at that. No. Nope. That was never gonna come out. And I was gonna float around in the tank. Uh, hit the peacock. That's, oh. That's probably why that came off. Floating around, bang that. I put petrol in the first time ever into the tank and it uh I think it swooshed everything and oh my word. You got that? You got that? Okay. You got lumps of whatever that is. Oh is that, is that a magnet, is it? Oh that's a Oh I know what that is. It's a magnet. Isn't that like some sort of like anti-security device when you get stolen? There we go, it's gone now. Do you know what, but look, and there is the, in look, there's the inside. Which I'm gonna blank that off anyway, I mean. Because the hole is absolutely tiny. Um, anyway, that's about as bad as it gets. So that looks like to me like a World War Two uh, airplane has been dr uh, dragged off the bottom of the sea. That is as bad as they come. Now, I've never been that bad before. And normally, a little bit of electrolysis, electrolysis was never going to do that, was it? Never in a million years. You would be there all day. You would be there all day. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. My next job now, I am going to do, I'm going to see how bad, I mean, if I can take it off with a little bit of uh, sandpaper. If not, I'm going to take it to my local shop blasting place and have a shop blasted. That's what I might do. And uh, what about powder and cook the inside of the tank so it works again? Because tank lines to see don't, don't seem to work, but paint, it, paint would come off with it. If I'm guessing powder coat, might actually work. Park up the inside of the tank and get it welded. Zinked! I get a zinc by my Vespa zinc. Good idea. I get a zinc. I'm going to stop it corroding and I'll weld it back together. Take weld it and then I will respray it and then she'll be as good as new. I know in the last video I said I would take this off with a uh, shot blasting, but uh, I have a drill. I have a plenty of bits left. So, uh, I'm going to see how it comes off, if it comes off, and if it's easy enough, then I'll do the whole tank inside with my um, drill bit. So uh, let's crack on.
Well, anyway, you get the uh, you get the gist of it. And what was that? A couple of minutes. And uh, so I reckon an hour or so I'll have it done. So I'm not gonna bore you filming. Listen to that drill bit, and I put my earbuds in and play some music. So um, stay tuned. Where are we, people? Where are we? There you are. <laughs> so I, I was doing then, it was uh, grinding off any bits of sharp metal which was left over from the cutting uh, to clean up the area because it's going to need to be welded again and clean up off any of the paint. So now some of the some of the stuff is a little hard to get with the grinder, so I'll file that out. And uh, <sighs> there we go. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. So. Uh, I'm gonna get cracking. to see pour 15 which I have used before but you always swish it around inside the tank you've got to turn it and lay it now the tank's cut in half I don't have that problem so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a paintbrush and paint it on I can't see why it wouldn't work it's only another way of applicating it uh, 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 applying it to um, to the to the tank so what do you, what's the worst gonna happen so uh, yeah so I'm gonna open this get it up Paintbrush is one dollar yes. And I'm gonna paint away. So uh see my painting skills. There we go. No, it's not. There we go. Woo! Oh, look at that. Look at that lovely paint. Try not to drip it, uh spill it, you idiot. Drip it, come on. Uh, we need something to spread it with. Do I use it? Do I? I could just use a sc the screwdriver. Really, I? There we go. Oh, yeah, I can feel it. The bottom is all stodgy. So, um, yeah, I'll see. Look. Yeah, it's big lumps. Very lumpy. Like what? Just like my mum's crazy. 
Hello, Mum. So let the painting begin. Oh, she's going on lovely. Oh, I could have been Picasso. Now the good thing about painting this is no one's going to see it because it's inside the tank. So it doesn't have to look good, it just needs to be coated. And I guess that uh, old saying of um, it's like watching paint dry really fits here. <laughs> you are like watching paint dry. Uh, but don't don't switch off. There we go. There we go. Come on, look at that. Oh there we go. I must say that's much easier than tipping around the tank, which is obviously inevitable unless you want to cut your tank open. But um, that's nice and easy. Happy days. <laughs> 